Their proximity made it inevitable that Michigan and Notre Dame would be football rivals. They first met on the gridiron in Notre Dame's initial season of football almost 120 years ago. From that point on, the two programs' fortunes would be intertwined, each developing its own rich tradition. Yost, Schembechler, Howard, and Woodson, the equal of Rockney, Parsegian, Gip, and Hornet. To this day, Michigan and Notre Dame stand atop the list of all-time college football wins. echoing through the stadium. Michigan and Notre Dame add another chapter to their storied rivalry. Inside Notre Dame Stadium, two ranked teams with proud traditions matched up on a warm afternoon in northern Indiana. It doesn't get much better. 11th ranked Michigan and second ranked Notre Dame. And at the far end of the stadium coming out of the tunnel and ready to make their appearance. Number nine, Tom Zubikowski, number 10, Brady Quinn leading the way. The victory mark sounds, and here come the Irish. Go with uh, the victors sounding through Notre Dame Stadium. The Wolverines of Michigan make their appearance. Ross Ryan boots it. Taken by Grimes in the end zone, he'll down it there. So the Irish will take over at their own for the Irish. Play action fake. Brady Quinn with time. Through the hands of the intercepted. Picked off for an easy touchdown for Prescott Burgess of Michigan. First turnover of the year for the Irish, Tom. Off the hands of John Carlson and Prescott Burge right into the hands of the linebacker Burgess for the touch. His third career interception as Garrett Rebus will attempt the extra point. And the senior from Tampa boots it through. So Burgess, good defensive ends here off the corners for Michigan. From the shotgun, Quinn pumps once, reloads, and throws a pop-up. Up, up for grabs, and Grimes can't get there. And third down and long. From the shotgun, Chad Henney's first pass attempt. Under pressure, intercepted in Ducre with a clear path to the end zone. In Ducre. Knocked out of bounds, out of bounds at the four yard line. A hustling play to just prevent the touchdown. Ducre nearly took it back all the way. Quinn with a touchdown pass to McConnell, the backup fullback. Ashley McConnell, the senior from Adairsville, Georgia, with his first touch of the That's why McConnell comes over for the touch. He had one carry last year. That was the first time he has touched the ball this year as Carl Joya adds the X net zero yards on three carries. Six defensive backs for the Irish. And three down linemen. Henny sacked. Travis Thomas with that speed. Under the six and a half minute mark in the first quarter at Notre Dame Stadium, 7-7 game. Quinn, swing pass, Walker can't handle it over his hand and incomplete. That's one that Brady Quinn doesn't miss in those first two years as a starter, better than Quinn. Oh, wide open. Wide open down the field, that's Manningham. He got behind the defense. There's one of those guys coming free. Oh, yeah. And Ambrose Wooden could only play catch up. It'll be a touchdown, Michigan. Mario Manningham's second touchdown reception of the season. It goes for 70 yards. He was a good call, good delivery by him. Rivas extra point attempt, and it's blocked. Blocked by Landry. Derek Landry blocks the point after attempt. It was there's the kick by Ryan. David Grimes fields it. And Grimes fumbles the football, and Michigan has recovered. So 
Well, two turnovers. One that was returned for an uh, interception for a touchdown and a fumble. A mistake on special teams. Remember, this is coming off the Penn State game when all three faces played well. Pat, didn't we say today that it was... Henny wide open. The pass caught by Obigo. Olibo with a catch, and he takes it. Well, Notre Dame had been turnover free, and then two in this first quarter. Here's Mike Hart with a cutback, and just dragged down by Zivikowski from behind. Wolverines first and goal. Olibo and Hart in the I formation. Hart dives for the touchdown. Well, you know, a tough start for the Irish, Tom, but remember back to that Georgia. Last point after attempt blocked, lined up again, and this one will split the uprights. Extra point, good. 16-yard line, three tight ends, Carlson, Freeman, Yeatman. No, good Didn't defense. make it. No. Darius Walker stopped short of the first down. Fake to Hart, Henny rolls, sets his feet. And throws, that'll be out of bounds, incomplete. No, they marked it inbounds. They're hurrying up, they're up the line of scrimmage. Yeah, very smart play, get, those, get the ball for a hold. I wasn't gonna bring that up. <laughs> you did just fine, man. Second down and eight. Henny for the end zone. Caught for the touchdown by Manningham. This time over Lambert. 20-yard touchdown pass, Henny to Manningham. And the Wolverines are left. Offense, good play calling and tremendous execution. Wow. And the extra point by Rivas is good. Staggering the Irish. For sure. And this is the third straight tough opponent that the Irish have had to face. Nickel defense for the Wolverines. Short drop by Quinn. Drills it to McKnight incomplete. Leon Hall. They're out. Preston in motion. Henny drops, has a man wide open, and it's a run after the catch to net a first down, Steve Breston. Second down, Hart, head of steam as he bursts up the middle. Caught from behind and dropped by Maurice Crum, but not until he has 13 yards. Second down. Henny handing off, Grady picking his way forward, shredding the Notre Dame defense and backing ahead for a first down in Duque. Hanging on for dear life. Well, they're chewing up the clock down to two and a half minutes. Henny for the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. Mario Manningham's third of the first half. Wow. Perfectly thrown by Henny in the corner of the end zone. Notre Dame's defense has been unable to stop Michigan on the ground or through the air as Rivas adds the extra seven. I can hear the gasps at a lot of stadiums when that halftime score is announced. Quinn finds McKnight makes a diving catch for a first down. Great. Keep doing it. It is 16. Quinn with protection, crossing route. McKnight pitches his second in a row, tackled at the 35 by Hall. Samarja right there, same side. Quinn, plenty of time. Now scrambles, throws it, caught by Grimes. Grimes did a great job to keep a foot in bound. Quinn is six for six on the drive. Play action fake. Quinn fired to the end zone, caught for the touchdown by Samarja, who went over Trent to get it. The ball was kind of behind him, but he latched. He was five for five the end of the first half on a drive for a touchdown. Troya's extra point is good with 20 seconds left in the half. Henny with protection now breaks down and he's sacked. Trevor Laws. And he had protection for a moment and broke down in the sack. But you know what? And that was, you know what? Lamar Woodley with four sacks on the year. Big down here for the Irish. From the shotgun. Brady Quinn goes over the top and it's picked off. I guess who? Burgess, who had a touchdown on an interception earlier. Burgess stopped at the five-yard line. Caught by Raymond McKnight from behind after his second interception. He brought back 34 yards, first and goal, Michigan, and what was Brady Quinn looking at? Well, Tom, there was really good coverage there because... Hart. 
Stopped at the three yard line. It'll be fourth down. Kick it, right? Kick the field goal. A 20 yarder. Rivas kicks it up and through. That kick is good. So the inter He's averaging two and a half today. Uh oh, Quinn to McKnight oh. overshoots oh. him. He was behind the defense. And Manningham is back on the field. Mario Manningham. Penny. Manningham with a catch. Well, it's his fourth catch. At least he didn't score. <laughs> Kenny finds a man after looking two different directions. It's Arrington. Boy, the game with the blitz is just. Kenny, given time, Breston dropped it. <laughs> so Chad Henney's put the ball. This attempts his second field goal of the game. And nails it. It is good. Swing pass to Walker out of the backfield, taken down at the 40. That'll be a flag for a hit out of bounds by Sean Frable. Personal foul, number 56 of the defense. Late hit, out of bounds. 15 yard penalty from the end. Yard line of Michigan, but the clock down to 12.47. Pumps once, Quinn for the end zone. And that's going to be a holding call, won't it? That's the flag. It should have been, yeah. McKnight uh, really caught the ball, so touchdown anyway. Morgan Trent had <laughs> Joy, uh, the extra point attempt. And it's good. Here's Hart. Broke two tackles, close to a first down. And a good example of Carlos Brown. Here's Grady. Hit and dropped behind the line for a loss on third down as Mitchell Thomas got penetration for the Irish defense. And total beating. Notre Dame has converted only one of ten on third down. But they got that one. That's Carlson. Those big paws. Superb. That time, McKnight. Able to hold on despite the hit from Trent. They did both sides of the football. Quinn flushed from the pocket. Goes back across the grain. Oh, was it intercepted? Yes, it was. Leon Hall picks it off from Michigan. His 10th career interception. Hart. Zivikowski had him. Got away. But then help arrives in the form of Indukwe, everybody. He was the former uh, Pennsylvania player of the year, All-American, All-Stater, Wilson High School, Royal Mission, Pennsylvania. A lot of the services rated him as the fourth best field. Mm -hmm. This is no time for that. In the pocket and a sack. Tim Jamison sacks. Out of his hand and he falls on it. And then it's taken away and picked up by Michigan. Lamar Woodley. He's running out of gas. <laughs> Touchdown. He didn't run out soon enough. He was on empty, but he had fumes left. He does his best to kind of stay in his feet after he's exhausted. The extra point is good. Rolling to his right, sharply, and just duck out of bounds. Well, that's fourth down. That was fourth down, down, so that didn't uh, throw. It didn't help the pass was intercepted off the tip ball by Burgess for a touchdown. The Irish got an interception themselves and managed to score after that to tie it at seven. After that, it was all Michigan. And I mean all Michigan. As they dominate Brady Quinn and the Irish in every way possible today. Total domination. They had a 34-7 lead late in the second quarter. Took Notre Dame over 20 minutes to finally get a first down through three quarters.